Hello and welcome to Photoics. This is part three of my HDR basics videos. Um, if you haven't seen the previous two videos, I suggest you go see them first, otherwise this won't really mean anything. Okay, in the last video um, we'd re-imported our image from Photomatics back into Lightroom and we were just finishing off uh, putting the final touches to it. Um, because uh, of this particular image we have this woman down here who is walking away and also some of this grass uh, was moving during those three exposures we had a few uh, ghosting issues now um, I uh, sorted most of it out using the spot removal tool in Lightroom uh, but it didn't do a fantastic job uh, as you can see around the woman's head here you can still see um, some of the ghosting and also there's a bit over here that we did in this area which I wasn't entirely happy with um, so in this video I'm going to uh, export this image into Photoshop and uh, sort these issues out properly so the first thing I've got to do is uh, get rid of all these uh, edits I did in Lightroom uh, there's a number of ways we can do this. Um, one way is to come down to my history and find the first spot removal and click on that. Uh, that will get rid of all the spot removals. Uh, there's still one left there. Um, the issue with doing this way is if you've done any other edits after the spot removal it will also delete them as well. As you can see here I've got um, I added some vibrance so I've now deleted that because I've come down here and deleted all this history and um, so I want to come back up here and I want to delete all these uh, spot removals without deleting the other edits I've done afterwards and um, the next way which is very long-winded would be to zoom into the image select them and just press the delete key now that's fine if you've got one or two but as you can see here I've got quite a lot and I don't really want to spend ages doing that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and where it says reset I'm just going to click reset and that deletes them all as you can see it's deleted them all and the woman has her second head back and we've got the big uh, grass smudge thing over there so that's the easy way to delete all the spot removals to scrap and press reset and that get rid of all of them okay so now the image is uh, oh there's one thing I forgot to mention um, of course doing this reset that way I've also reset the couple we did up here on these uh, dust spots so make sure you remember that if you do uh, reset remember that you've may have to redo some of these ones up here. I'll do those in Photoshop to show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to uh, export this image now into Photoshop, which is incredibly easy in Lightroom. Let's go up to Photo, Edit In, and then you can see it says Edit In Photoshop. So we click on that, and you may or may not get this box. Um, basically what this is saying is I can edit a copy of this image with all the adjustments that I've done in Lightroom so that means the vibrance, the clarity, uh, the exposures, all this kind of thing I can edit a copy of the original file so that would just be as it was out of camera or I can actually edit the original file uh, of course I want this picture to have all the uh, edits I've done in Lightroom so I want edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments so we click on edit see up in the top left here it's preparing the file for editing and here comes Photoshop and there it is in Photoshop okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is get rid of these dust bunnies up here I'll just zoom in a bit and I want to come up to this icon here it's uh, it looks like a plaster if you right click on it you can see all the different options. So I want the spot healing brush, and then you just simply 
place the circle over the bits that you want and it gets rid of them for you. Yeah, I think that's all the dust spots if I remember. One up there. Okay. Right, the first bit I'm gonna deal with is this bit here. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a duplicate uh, sorry, duplicate layer. Um so if I go wrong uh, I don't I don't have to keep going back and back and back so I'm going to right click and create the duplicate layer so that just makes a layer exactly the same as one underneath which I can uh, go on and edit without being destructive to the original file okay so um, for this I'm not going to use the healing tool I'm going to use the clone stamp tool this just looks like a a stamp. Uh, so we'll click on that, shrink the cursor a bit. Now with this um, you need to select where Photoshop samples from. So you hold down the Alt key and you see you get this uh, little sort of target. Now um, you click somewhere near or somewhere that's got the same image colors as the bit that you want to clone out. So to get rid of this bit here I want to click around here and then I can simply paint. Now you notice there it's kind of created uh, a secondary one. That's because when you're painting you see this cross comes up next to it. That's the area that's sampling. So you want to make sure that cross is far enough away that you don't kind of resample the bit that you're um, trying to get rid of. So we'll just carefully paint out these bits. Just takes this got to be careful about it, just do it slowly. Okay, and this bit down here, I want to sample from around that area. What I'm doing as I'm not painting this bit, I'm just uh, clicking the mouse just to kind of stamp, hence the clone stamp tool name. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's. Um not too bad. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this uh, the tip of this bit here I think. It's a bit distracting. It's a bit better. No, that's not too bad. It's not a great job but uh, I'm not going to spend too long doing it. Okay now we've got to this bit over here. The woman's uh, multiple heads. I'm just going to zoom in a bit closer for this one. Again, I'm going to use the stone clamp tool. Uh, I'm going to select a uh, feathered brush, medium feathered brush, and I'll just make the cursor a bit smaller. Right, again, we've got to select an area near where we want to clone out. So I'm going to select using the Alt key, select this bit and then just keep going up. Now you can paint it or you can stamp it um, different subjects work differently. Okay, I'm just going to take the hardness up a bit because this feather isn't I don't want it too feathered. And there we go, that's not too bad. As you can see, I'm just selecting, using the Alt key, just selecting areas around roughly where I want uh, the clone to go. 
and that's a pretty good job there. We'll just zoom back out to real size. Yeah, that's much better than the Lightroom job. Um, you can't really tell that I've done much work to that. Obviously, uh, if you saw it for the first time, you wouldn't know. This bit's not quite so good. I'm going to have another go with this. made it worse. Um, if you do mess up like that you can just either undo or take several steps backwards or uh, alt Control z You know what, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, it doesn't look too bad as it is. So I'll go back to uh, fit the screen. Now there's a couple of other bits in this image that do annoy me slightly. Um, we've got these blades of grass here and one over here as well. So what I might do is I might have a go at removing those again using the stone uh, clone stamp tool. So just make our cursor a bit bigger. And I'm going to press the Alt key. I'm going to select some grass just around here, and then I'll just select random areas. And be careful when you're doing this, you don't get um, copies. As you can see down here, I've got these two blades of grass. Um, they look exactly the same, which looks... Obviously, you wouldn't get that in real life, so if you get a bit like that, just get rid of a bit. And do the same for this bit here as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. And lastly, this bit over here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so when it exported from Lightroom, it created a TIFF file. Uh, you can see the file name up here. So to get this image back into Photoshop now, simply go to File and save. Simple as that. This will now save that image and if we come back into Lightroom there it is. It's re-imported itself. I didn't have to do anything other than click save and it's automatically re-imported it back into Lightroom and it's also gone straight back into the develop module. So as you can see now I've got no spot healing marks anywhere. I did it all in Photoshop. I've got rid of the uh, blades of grass down here that were distracting. And if we zoom in, you can see that bit's not so good. We'll ignore that bit. The woman's head is now normal. She doesn't have two heads. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything else I want to do with this image. Um, one thing you will notice, once you've saved in Photoshop and re-imported, it appears as though all your settings have gone, like the clarity and the sharpening. Um, it hasn't gone, it's saved in the image. By redoing all this, you'd simply add on top, which would uh, take the image over the top. So you don't need to change any of this, the sharpening and everything, it's all still there. Um, okay, so I've now finished with this image. I go to File export and I'm going to use one of my presets that I've already done and I think I'll put the watermark up here in the top left so choose top left and export and that will then export the image ready for uploading to the web or printing okay hope you found these uh, HDR videos helpful if you have any questions or want any more demonstrations or anything in particular please leave a comment or send me an email Thanks very much.